Hi, I'm here in Murcia with Patrick Grief from Norwalds. Can you give a short introduction of the band, so the band members that are not here now, but uh, introduce them? Yeah, sure. We have uh, David as the drum player, Frejol the keyboard player, Jeffrey the bass player, Leonidas the rhythm guitarist and backup vocalist, and Meseguer as the vocalist, and then there's me, and I'm the, the composer and lead guitarist for the band. So as a rather new band in the scene, people are maybe curious about your biography. So can you give some short biography? Uh, Norwell Project started in 2012, but as you everyone know probably, finding people who really commit to try to, to be big in the music industry was very hard. Also, I was very young too. So I had quite a long journey to find the, the band members who really committed to, to try to focus and to work their asses off to, to make it real and possible. So we've been playing for a year already. And to mention a couple important things we did, we participated in Forjando Leyendas del Rock, which was a, a band, a battle of the bands a couple of months ago. And we are going to release our first album before the year ends. So also soon you have a gig uh, next Saturday. Can you give a short uh, preview of the gig? Yeah, we have the fucking Fallen Metal Fest uh, here in Murcia at uh, Sala Gamma. And we're going to, to be six bands. We have an opening theme from Anisia, then we're going to play, us, the normal. And then we have Acera, Blood Dogs, Injector, Centaura, the, they come from Madrid, and Brutal Slaughter. Talking about more about the music, can you give direct influences of the band, uh, also indirect influences? So indirect influences can be both musically or uh, lyrically. As a composer, I think uh, this is a very hard question because I've, I've been a, a Nightwish fan and follower since forever and also uh, Delane and Epica and this kind of bands but I wouldn't, I wouldn't define myself as, uh, as having a, a big fat influence from them of course there are because they, they, they have the, the female vocalist, the keyboard very present in the in their discography too, but I w also like power metal like Sonata Artica, also mm, more death metal like Children of Bodom or Arch Enemy. So for the riffs, for example, I would go rather for the death metal when when it comes to to harder songs, but then for the for the singing and and the I, I don't know if to call it the epicness. We would go rather for Nightwish and Epic Adlen. That's it. Also about the band, can you explain the band name? You're here in southern Spain and you have like a very northern Viking style name. Uh, how you chose it, why you chose it, is there a special reason you have this name? Yeah, Norwal is the name of the of the world I created to, to tell its tales on music. I created a, a whole world with their gods, their countries, their religions, whatever. And the stories that happen in that world are laid, later recorded in music and literature. And it's, it's the name of the world. But for the, for the origin, it's the only thing I didn't create myself. I have this kind of internet friend who you never met. Uh, who, and we were talking about band names that would sound cool. And he came up with that. He will have liked to say the like something like Northern Forest in German, but he misspelled. So it didn't mean nothing. And I really liked that. And, and I decided to, to have it as a, the name of the world, the band and, and everything related to, to, to that. 
So now I come to a question I always ask to everybody on my YouTube channel. Suppose you're on a desert island, you don't have internet, no phones, no uh, television, no radio. You only have a record player uh, or a CD player and you can only listen to three albums. Which three albums would you take on the desert island? Very hard decision though, but I think I will go for my classics. Uh, Sonata Artica Ecliptica. Uh, the lanes we are the others and uh, not as classic but very cool too and one of my favorite albums in history uh, Endless Ones Most Beautiful from, from Nightwish Anything more you want to add uh, special things uh, next to the recording that are coming maybe I don't really know what to add uh, things for the recording well, uh, the album is going to have 11 songs and it tells a whole story about how a guy can really fuck up when he becomes a king of a, of a very mm, dark and, and hard to, to control kingdom. So if you like fantasy and if you like, I don't know, Rhapsody of Fire, Twilight Force and this kind of bands and this kind of epic tales on the... Um, on the music more than just lyrics then you should probably give us a shot <laughs>